Hey guys, what's going on? Just want to do a video here talking about who could be the X Factor for this year's 2020-21 team. And before getting into my picks for who those players could be, I just wanted to quickly say how our current roster size is sitting at 10 total players, and the biggest storyline that we're still waiting on as of right now is the eligibility situation of Olivier Saar. Like I said in the last live stream, I'm a firm believer that Olivier Saar will be eligible 100% for next season for a multitude of reasons. One being that he has a strong case from Wake Forest with his coach being fired after he told him to come back. Two, there's a lot of players around the country being granted immediate eligibility three Johnny Juzang a player that was transferring from Kentucky obviously last year became immediately eligible to play for UCLA this coming season and coach Cal was working and doing everything he needed to do to help him become eligible I think all those things bode really well for Olivier Saar and his chances so he will be included for my list of like who I'm choosing from this group of 10 players right here for next year's team as for like which ones could be the most important x factors for us to reach our ultimate goal of winning our ninth national championship and also I just want to quickly say there's still a chance we could add one more guy because even if Olivier Saar is eligible I still think we need one more true center because Olivier Saar would be the only true center on next year's team regardless of if he is eligible or not I think you need at least two centers that would only add one more player make it be 11 total so we'll see what happens I mean obviously maker maker if you guys didn't catch this he just committed to Howard University just last night at like 4 a.m. that's another name that's off our list but you just you never know what 2021 guys could reclass realistically this group of 10 right here is probably our ultimate is probably our final roster going into next season anyways first up i narrowed it down to three players i thought were the most important players and could be candidates for players who could be the x factor for next year's team and the first off the list the most obvious choice in my opinion is keon brooks jr effin box He's the lone player from last year's team that has any kind of a game experience in a Kentucky basketball uniform. Now, I understand Dante Allen was on the team last year, but he did not play one second as he redshirted the entire year due to his ACL injury and also breaking his collarbone as well. That's a big reason why I believe Keon Brooks Jr. is probably one of the most important key players for next year's team and could be the X Factor for next year's team. For one, last year he averaged about four and a half points per game and grabbed just over three rebounds as well. Really, he can just do it all on the basketball court. He can shoot threes, he can slash the basket, he can catch lobs, he can rebound, he can block shots he can do just about every single thing on the basketball court except his ball handling could probably get a little bit better but overall Keon Brooks Jr. can really do every single thing on that basketball court and do it really well obviously last year he was struggling throughout the entire year he was showing signs in like individual glimpses of what he could be in like individual moments during the games throughout the year but obviously he started to put it together a lot more in that final game of the year at Florida where he knocked down two impressive threes and was just really taking over at times and at the end of the game we were going to him for points so Keon Brooks Jr. without a doubt could be the x factor for next year's team and if we are able to win our ninth championship I think he's going to probably be one of the most important players on that team and he'll have to really improve from his freshman year to his sophomore year and I really do believe that he will because there's a video circulating around on Twitter that I saw I think it came out probably less than a month ago of him working out he just looks like his persona's changed a little bit obviously we'll see what happens you never know until they get out there in the basketball court but Keon Brooks Jr. without a doubt could be an X factor for next year's team the next player that I chose as far as my top three players that could be the most important X factor for the 2020-21 basketball team is Olivier Saar obviously assuming he's, he's eligible Olivier Saar is a 7 foot 255 pound center from Wake Forest who averaged 14 points per game and also grabbed just under 10 rebounds per game as well at Wake Forest last year in the 2019-20 season in the ACC which hate him or not the ACC is a very good conference has some very solid teams in there he's a great rim protector he just seems like he plays like a beast out there and without a doubt I mean any good team needs that kind of a rim protector in the middle of the floor and Olivier Saar would be the only true center on our team if he's eligible so without a doubt I think Olivier Saar has the potential to be the most important X factor for next year's team and it's my second choice in the list of three that I'm choosing right now as far as who could be the X factor for the 2020-21 basketball team. The third and final guy that I chose out of the 10 players from the first picture I showed you guys of our roster, I ended up choosing Davion Mintz, the grad transfer point guard from Creighton University. He averaged just under 10 points per game and three assists per game in the 2018-19 season because last year he injured himself just before the season started, did not play much during the year. And the reason why I have Davion Mintz as being an X factor for next year's team is the fact that he will be not only a factor on the actual floor but also as far as mentoring Devin Askew because Davion Mintz will be an actual like, grad transfer senior and he's a point guard and I really do believe that he'll be starting from day one his most important asset to next year's team will be guiding Devin Askew and just helping him become the best player he can be so Davion Mintz will really be affecting things on and off the floor and just being an absolute leader everywhere like from the, the bench or in the actual court and that's probably why I believe Davion Mintz could be the x-factor for next year's team but after assessing all three of these guys the guy that I'm ultimately 
definitely going to choose in the end as far as who is the most important X Factor. If Kentucky's going to cut down the nets and win their ninth national championship, it's going to be because of Olivier Saar, because of his size, his rim protecting, and just his overall experience. Because the one game I saw in his time at Wake Forest that just really just showed me how good he could be and how important he'll be for next year's team was his game against Puke University at Wake Forest where he scored 25 points and was just absolutely owning Vernon Carey Jr. Projecting shots from the rim, was dunking all over, and was just absolutely just dominating. And, and Vernon Carey Jr. is a great player, and he was just owning him the entire game. I know that's just one game, but that, that just really showed me how good he could be. And there's a lot of footage that you'll, you'll be seeing during this video when I'm talking about him. But Olivier Saar, without a doubt, is my pick for the most important X Factor for next year's team. But ultimately, who do you guys think is the most important X Factor for next year's 2020-21 team? And why do you think that? You can honestly make a case for probably just about any one of these guys. Dante Allen, Cameron Fletcher, Lance Ware, Isaiah Jackson, and two names I haven't even mentioned yet are the most highly rated players from our class of 2020 and BJ Boston Jr. and Terrence Clark. So let me know down in the comments who you guys think is the most important X Factor and why. Stay tuned. There'll be a lot more videos to come here soon. I'm still working on those reaction videos and there's there's more versus videos in pre-production right now and also a lot more dunk videos and one videos and three-point videos and there could be a new hype video depending on if we add anyone else but realistically we probably won't add anyone else. I'll keep you guys up to date with more UK news in the near future. I'm also hoping to do a weekly live stream. I'll keep you guys updated with that but I'm trying to get to a point where I can do a live stream maybe like every Wednesday. I'll let you guys know before I make that call. Once again guys thanks for watching this video and definitely let me know in the comments who you guys think is the most important X factor for our 2020-21 basketball team and I will see you guys in the next video. Go Big Blue.